All right, so what we have here is a really cool plant. I thought we'd uh, shoot it in my yard because it's here. Um, this is Dolingeria, Dolingeria umbellata. <laughs> It used to be uh, Aster umbellatus. It's called. It's the flat top Aster. As you can see where it gets that name. It's kind of got a flat top to it. Um, and so uh, we're going to briefly talk about what makes this Dolingeria knots and field trichum. Um, and then we're also going to talk about where the name came from and its habitat and so forth. So stick with us and uh, hopefully you'll be able to, to confidently recognize Dolingeria umbellata. So the uh, name Dolingeria is, is actually in honor of, uh, I think his name is Ignis. Ignis Dollinger, Ignis Dollinger. Uh, he's like a 17th or 18th century botanist and German physician or something. Uh, but that's where the name comes from in honor of an umbellata, just because uh, it looks kind of like an umbrella, the top, the way it's, it's structured. Um, so that's where the name comes from. The, uh, the habitat, so oftentimes these are in like uh, sedge meadows, wet prairies, sand prairies. Um, hydromesophytic, more open swamps uh, or, bot or woodlands, not so much swamps. Um, but it's got, so it likes its feet a little wet. Sometimes you'll see this even in like savanna complexes. Range is, uh, it's, it's Midwest in Northeastern um, North America. It sneaks down into, into uh, Southeastern United States a little bit. Uh, there's two varieties. There's variety pubins and variety umbellata. Uh, they both kind of occur in the Midwest. Pubins is, is more so a Wisconsin and uh, Minnesota species. Sneaks barely into Indiana where we're filming this. Uh, and we'll talk a little bit more about those varieties when we look at the leaves and the stem. And then uh, variety umbellata, uh, it's covered in the Midwest, more so in the Northeast as well, and then sneaks down into the into uh, Southeastern United States. All right, so taking a look at the uh, the stem and the leaves. So the stems often have these linear um, furrows on them. Uh, these linear furrows, they can be light green, purplish. Uh, here they're kind of yellowish green. Next right here, the yellowish green. So you can see uh, that it has these divergent veins that kind of run parallel um, up the side. So it kind of, it doesn't really go to the side, it just runs parallel, these veins. Uh, it's widest at the middle and kind of tapers to both sides, as you can see here. Tapers to both sides. That's kind of indicative of the Dolingerias. It's darker green on the uh, adaxial or the top surface and uh, lighter green, pale green on the uh, baxial or the bottom surface as well. Um, there are a couple of varieties. Uh, pubins, variety pubins is gonna have a lot of hair on the underside and on the top of the leaf. All right, look how lovely these flower heads are. So each one of these flower heads is made up of uh, five to ten to 15, five to fifteen, I think, ray flowers. And the ray flowers are going to be pistillate. They're going to be pistillate, so they're going to be female. Uh, there's going to be no stamens, no males in the in the dis, in the ray flowers. Excuse me. Um, and then there's going to be like ten to thirty plus uh, disc flowers in the middle here. The disc flowers in the middle. And those disc flowers are off. They start out kind of this this really nice creamy yellow, um, and then they turn. Unlike our symphiotrichums, they turn into a uh, into kind of this yellowish white. So you can see these achenes. That's uh, uh, the seed-like structure there. Um, these achenes are going to have varying lengths of hair on them. Um, not talking about the pappus or that that hair that blows the. Uh, the keens away, but it's going to have these these really um, short hairs. Something like I think Infirmus is the name, or Infirma, Infirmus, uh, which is an eastern species. I'm I'm kind of unfamiliar with that, but I know that uh, at least in reading the literature that um, that it doesn't have that it's it's usually glabrous, so hairless. The keens are usually hairless. We can see on the phyleries here. So the phyleries uh, are these little brack-like structures here that hold all these flowers in the flower head up. And these phyleries are unequal. They are gonna be unequal. So this this gets, uh, I'm standing uh, maybe a foot off the ground, and this is about as tall as me. So it can, it can be, you know, five, six feet plus. Um, and so to conclude, this is Dolan Jerry Ambalata. Really cool plant.